And welcome to your gold market update with me, Mike Smith, on the 12th of May 2022. Hope you're all well today and let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, last night we had the important US inflation number and of course, US equity markets responded to that slightly warmer than expected number, even though it was slightly less than last month. And we saw all indices pair early against the finish in the red again. What this has done essentially in terms of context is pushed the S&P 500 towards bear market territory. It's within 2% now. And the Nasdaq, which has long since been here, is now testing the key level of 12,000. If we look at today's action, we see the US futures mildly positive in early trading. Asian indices are weaker following that US lead and very choppy. ASX is down around 0.8% and towards the lows of the session, bouncing around quite significantly as market participants try to reposition. European futures are pointing to a lower open after finishing very much in positive territory yesterday. And of course, the impact of that US action overnight has sent those lower. So we're expecting lower opens on the DAX and the FTSE in excess of 1%. US dollar index is still trading neutral. Didn't have a pop higher significantly. It is around that resistance level that we've been referencing for a few days. We saw gold bounce off short-term support, but remain below 1850. It's trading around 1837 at this stage. And oil and copper both held the previous day's levels. 420 on copper appears to be a critical support. And the VIX remains above 30, currently trading around 31 in today's trading so far. The bearish sentiment continues in cryptos. Importantly, Bitcoin is below the critical 30,000 level after last night's trading. Looks as though there's some profit taking going on in Asia today. So we may not get a true picture about whether we're going to get further selling until later in the day. And the data keeps on coming. We've got US weekly jobs and US PPI number, both really quite important in terms of determining whether there is any slowdown in economic growth. And that PPI number, of course, is important from the point of view of being a, like a business inflation number. On top of that, this afternoon, we've got UK GDP and industrial production numbers also out, which will impact, of course, on the GB pound. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are of interest. Not a lot to shout about on the ASX, but we do, do see energy stocks being the outperforming sector. And interestingly, Whitehaven Coal has moved back up over the last few days to retest this 5.11 resistance. You can see it on the chart there. We are off the highs of the session, but only a couple of cents under it. So that's a level to watch if we should get some more buying coming into this sector that may be one to take advantage of on the fx front things very choppy but we did notice the gb pound australian dollar on the 30 minute chart had an interesting technical setup potentially we see resistance there at 176.86 and a short-term support around about where this 200 ema is sitting at 176.33 if we get a break through this, we could retest the lows of yesterday, which are around about 58 pips below current price. So there could be a potential short term opportunity there. But bear in mind, these are high risk markets, very choppy. And that is a likely to be a continuing theme over the next couple of days, we suspect. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.